。今日想同大家分享嘅系中国外交学者 Victor Gao 高志海最近参加印度主持人 Arnab 嘅全球辩论节目入面嘅其中一段说话内容。Yeah, I listened very carefully to what the American panelist said just now. Allow me to mention several things. The U.S. opposition to Nord Stream 2 started way before February the 24th, 2022. It is the U.S. policy to change the energy supply to Europe from Russia to someone else. And most possibly to the United States. Now, this is not a hidden agenda. This is a well-declared agenda. So, in this sense, the United States achieved its goal. However, Russian gas through pipeline is very different from American gas through LNG, which will cost European countries a whole lot of a burden going forwards. And it will not only be a burden for overnight. It will be a burden for 10 years, 20 years, or possibly 100 years to come. So, in this sense, Europe being really diverting from Russian supply of gas to American supply of gas in LNG will impose a huge burden onto themselves. Sooner or later, European countries will waken up to the fact that there is a very extraordinary burden imposed onto the European countries. Secondly. In the world of today, it is a multilateral world. This is not a unilateral world dictated by the United States. If the United States wants to dictate this, it will collapse eventually. Now, talking about isolating Russia, only about 30 countries are imposing sanctions against Russia. The overwhelming majority of the international community, about 170 countries in total, do not impose sanctions against Russia. Therefore, to say the United States sanctions against Russia represent the international community is a complete lie. It represents the United States and the Western countries. It does not represent big countries like India, Brazil, South America, almost all the Middle Eastern countries, all the countries in Asia except Japan, South Korea, Singapore, and China's Taiwan province, for example. So. Who gives the United States the authority to say they represent the international community? No, the United States represent the Yankees. They do not represent the international community. They cannot represent India. They cannot represent China, and they cannot force China and India onto the bandwagon unleashed by the United States against Russia. Fundamentally, allow me to make a point: excluding Russia. Will not lead to lasting peace in Europe. Excluding Russia with the largest nuclear arsenal will not lead to lasting peace in the world. Putin threatened to put the Russian nuclear arsenal on higher alert, and the United States is deterred. The United States does not have the courage to send a single soldier to fight in Ukraine against Russia. Do you think this indicates? That the United States does not care for Russia leading role in the world in terms of military power. No, they are not telling the truth to the world. The United States and NATO are deterred by the threat of President Putin and Russia. Why? Because the United States does not have the courage, does not have the capacity to pick a fight directly with Russia. They want to fight the war. By using Ukraine、oh, as the border to fight a war on behalf of、oh. the United States, pray the soul for the Ukrainians.